And then we have the National Testing Agency. <coughs> so at present, private universities, this is for the higher education, okay? Then we have government <coughs> and we have deemed universities. In case of government, we have state and we have central. So these are four or five types of universities that we have. Now, each of them are conducting their own exams or earlier they were conducting their own exams. Different, different types of exams we have. First one we have on the basis of your plus two or whatever the previous exams you gave, uske basis pe admission, for example, Delhi University. Graduation, undergraduation wala exam. So on the basis of 10 plus two, if you have, if you have score more than 99.5%, to admission mil jaye. Nahi to nahi. The second type of exam is, they are checking your knowledge, the future knowledge, the course you want to do, uski knowledge. Example is, IIT, JE and all, maths. Then we have the third type of exam is, or kaun sa hoga? This, CAT, general ability wala, a general aptitude wala exam hoga, baki this uh, CAT will be there. And fourth type of exam is research based. Is mein kya hoga? References likhwane padte hain aapko isme, institutes and all. This is basically for the research purpose. So these are the four types of exams or four types of universities admission ke liye. These are the four types. So the, the problem is each of them are conducting their separate separate exam which is going to cause a lot of problem. Anxiety problem, overlapping problem, scheduling key problem. So to solve all these things the solution is there should be a Similar to just like earlier we had different different exam for bank PO. Sabko merge kiya, a common exam banaya and the interview will be different. So similarly for all the medical MBB came up with this need. But because education comes under the concurrent list, so states are objecting it. Specifically Tamil Nadu has objected it, counseling in Eager Vaisne. They said ki this is the infringing of the cooperative federalism. This is from the perspective of the states. Even if the center government, as per the concurrent list, the union government is making a law that is going to override the laws of the state legislature. So, of course, but the problem comes in case of implementation. Because implementation will be done by the state agencies only. And if states don't want to implement it, how can you force the states to implement this thing? That is why, you know, Counseling ni Formally, they reached to the Supreme Court and recently the Supreme Court said, in case of MBBS and BDS exam, the only marks will be counted of need. Or koi weightage nahi hoga iska. Negative is, multiple exams are there only once in a year. Ab prelims ke exams are 10 din pehle accident ho gaya. One and a half years will be gone. At least one year will be gone. In case of this national testing agency, when it is going to come, is going to solve this problem because it's my core problem over exams are held only at big, big tier one cities. <coughs> you have to travel just one day or two days before the exam. National testing agency will be a body of the government, which will be applicable for both private as well as government universities, just like NEET was applicable for both. Here are other negatives. Hai. Commercialization is going to take place. Commerc uh, corruption is going to take place. Specifically in medical exams. NTA, because it will be a government backed body. Just like take the example of UPSC. How much is it? 200 or 100 rupees. 100 rupees. And if you fill a private ke kisi mein exam, it will be 1000 rupees. In state PCS, it will be 1000 rupees, 1500 rupees. So in this case, this again, for one exam, ke liye 500, 500, 500, 500, 500. So economic issues will be there. <coughs> now because it is backed by the government, so the exam will be held at TSI level or sub-district level. So more inclusive again. Common exam for all. Twice a year. Miss ho gaya to you can give again the exam. All these are the Positives of NTA, but still there are some challenges. Kya kya challenges honge? Hold the one, two, three, four, five, six. 
डायरेक्ट कन्वर्जन ऑफ इंग्लिश टू हिंदी कन्वर्ट करके इट वॉज अस लाइन नॉट एबल टू रिकॉल एक्चुअली सो इन केस ऑफ सी सेट एग्जाम यूपीएससी हिंदर हिंदी इंटरप्रेटर डायरेक्टली गूगल ट्रांसलेटर से ट्रांसलेट कर दिया and it became a major thing okay i'm not able to recall the exact word but yeah so this translation will be in problem regional language mein then technology will be there so technology glitches can take place usually rbi ke exam mein ho jata hai then we have <coughs> any other challenges encroachment of cooperative federalism bolo लोकल नीड्स सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर शुड बी सी आर आर लाइक कंसेप्ट नाम कुछ भी हो सकता है कंसेप्ट ये होना चाहिए देर शुड बी सम कंसेप्ट लाइक एस एल आर so these are the common things and these monetary policy will be decided by the domestic central bank similarly there should be some common curriculum for all the states and that can be tested through this nta and the rest can be tested by the 60 40 70 30 ka ratio kar sakte hain ye way forward bata raha hu that this for example 70% weightage of nta plus 30% weightage of the state exams so these are the this is the way forward जल्दी जल्दी देख लेते हैं इसमें इफ आई मिस समथिंग एडमिशन प्रोसेस एग्जाम टाइप्स फोर एग्जाम टाइप्स यू ऑलरेडी डिस्कस विद द सेम एग्जांपल्स एंड देन वी हैव द सेलिएंट फीचर्स ना इट इज ए सोसाइटी इट इज ए सोसाइटी रजिस्टर्ड अंडर सोसाइटीज रजिस्ट्रेशन एक्ट 1860 कंपनी नहीं है नॉन फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है कुछ नहीं है इट इज ए सोसाइटी सेकेंड लास्ट लाइन salient features of nta it is a society registered under indian societies registration act so basically it is going to conduct initially all the exams which are being conducted by cbsc just like neet we have je main we have ctet kya hota hai ctet central teachers eligibility test diya kisi ne very good fir nahi pata hoga ab batao what is ctet such a great enlightenment enlightenment bolo family teachers ke liye hota hai central level pe hota hai state level pe hota hai to become a teacher actually you have to give this exam that is what central teachers eligibility test and then we have ugc net net kis liye hota hai ye aapko pata hoga this you have clear so you know assistant professors and all ke liye so this will be in the online mode at least twice a year then the constitution of nta <coughs> chairman will be an eminent educationist appointed by the ministry of human resource isko yaad rakhna finance of nta so the government is going to give you only one time grant of 25 crore that's it uske baad self sustain karna hai only one time grant of 25 crores then it will be financially self sustainable body and it is subject to the audit of cag then we have limitations of the existing system wo humne dekh liya hai positive impact of nta is going to increase one thing we missed administrative efficiency at present it cbsc is overburdened exam bhi conduct karana hai and curriculum bhi dekhna hai so that is why administrative efficiency is going to increase and the outstanding challenges finish any doubts see you guys tomorrow at 11